Well, my name is Aurelio Rosas. I was born in Eagle Pass, Texas, then moved to Crystal City, Texas, where I eventually graduated from high school. I'm the second youngest from my family. Um, there are no graduates in my family. I'm the only one that graduated from high school and from college. So I worked as a CNA for about three years in Texas and then I was going through life. Um, I was going through a divorce. Um, I just wanted a different change in life. Um, so I moved up here. Um, shortly after, well, my kids moved up here too and ex-wife came up here also. So she had family here. So. We went 50-50 custody. Then I wanted to just further my education. I wanted to get a degree, get something, and you know, uh, even if it meant a certificate. Um, and so I looked into Moraine Park, and they have a lot of they had a lot of options. And I, the first thing I just popped into mind was the medical assistant program. So I won't lie. At first, it was kind of a I don't know. I was scared because it's a non-traditional field, um, and. I was, the only, I was the only male in that class when I first started, so I didn't know if I had it in me since I, it, was, it had been almost 13 years since I graduated high school, but I came to find out that I still had it in me and Marine Park brought the best out of me. Like halfway through my, actually it was only more, one more semester that I needed to graduate for my medical assistant. My brother passed away. Um, he passed away, you know, um, drugs and you know I wanted to quit everything I didn't you know I didn't want to do anything anymore um, you know we had a place together I had we had lost a place um, I was homeless for a while I lived in my car for a while I then had to travel from Milwaukee to Beaver Dam every day that I had a class and if it wasn't for Marine Park that the counselor uh, Carla she you know, set me up with some sources that will pay for my gas mileage reimbursement, so that really helped me a lot. Got me through that semester. Juggle work, school, kids, um, homework, and then life. Um, it was kind of a struggle. Um, all I had to do was just utilize the sources that I had here, because there's people that help you out, you know, you just gotta reach out. Some people are scared of saying, you know, asking for help or not taking that first step to ask for help, but, um, once I did that, um, you know, things were a little bit easier. Uh, and also like, you know, filling out financial aid and stuff like that, um, my advisor was real helpful to me. So I did that. The library was also real helpful. Um, well, the impact, I've already seen it a little bit. Um, you know, like since I've been through all that, homeless and all that, I have my own place now. Um, I have a bigger place than I ever had before. I'm never in a million years that I imagined myself I would be here. Never, never. I never thought that I was going to get this far. For Moraine Park has brought me this far. So right now I work at a community pediatrics. It's here in Beaver Dam. I work with kids. Um, all the skills that I've learned here, I, I use them there. Um, especially my God-given skills that I can speak Spanish, so I can translate a lot for a lot of patients. We do have a lot of Hispanic patients uh, in our community. My goal is to be an RN. Um, I, that's what I'm striving for. Um, eventually, I hope I'll get there. And being male, I can. I hope uh, you know other male guys. See, you know what? If you know if we can be there, we can be there. So even I've been through all this in life. Um, you can still man. You can still do it. I mean, it doesn't. Don't let one little setback you know set you back for the rest of your life. If you don't go forward and try to strive for what you really want in life, then you know you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You know, what can I say, Marine Park was my saving grace. I, honestly, that's what I can say. It's, it's, without it, I don't know where I would be at. I, no, I, I don't know where I would be. I mean, I would probably be still in Texas working in a pecan orchard where I was working once and, you know, or something else, I mean. But here I, you know, I, I feel like I'm giving back to the community, working for the community and staying in the community, so.